Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. First thing I want to say is uh, Hydros went ahead and did me a favor. He put SCR Gohan on this category. Now, he is actually in the category, not just sitting on this team. Like, he went ahead and edited the card on the back end and gave him access to this category. So we can kind of see how an STR Gohan, at least, or how a uh, Ultimate Gohan, excuse me, at least equivalent to this Gohan, would perform under that 177% boost that this category does offer. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Hit that subscribe if you're new for more content. And uh, again, huge shout out to Hydros. Link is down below in the description. Check the man out. We do have some gameplay, and we're going to go over that here. I'm also going to give you guys my thoughts on this. But as far as this is concerned, I know that yesterday there was a really big, like, kind of, like, deal where people were upset that maybe the Tech Gokhan, 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 I don't know, Gohan uh, wasn't in this category, which, I mean, he, I mean, it's weird because he's doing the Masenko, but nonetheless, he really shouldn't be in this category because the previous one wasn't, which, I mean, it's not like they can't awaken and give a card a category, such as, like, the AGL SSG uh, Goku, for example, going from being in the Battle of Gods arc to awakening and being in the uh, Tournament of Power with that art and all that stuff. But nonetheless, the Tech one isn't in there, and right now, as it stands, we don't have access to a Gohan that has this category except for the free-to-play AGL one. So, a lot of people are upset about that, myself included. I've talked about that in numerous videos, most recently, uh, one that I put up last week as well. So, where I, where I talk about all the missed opportunities that this category uh, has. Like, it doesn't have access to TN. Uh, and it, well, it has a TN, but like, you know, I mean, it doesn't, but it does, because we're using one. Uh, because it's not the category, but the subleader skill, I will say that. But anyways, there's no TN. There's the, there's an 18, there's a 17. There's no Gohan that's actually usable, really. Uh, no Krillin, no Roshi, like all that stuff. So I talked about that there. So to begin, by the way, first super attack is 1.7 million attack. I had him start the game playoff. Uh, well, he decided this was a good idea, which, I mean, kudos to the man. Uh, right after Hirudagarn, so we don't have to deal with the first couple of fights. We're going to play all the way through Gogeta as well. So Gohan did a very powerful attack there. This is a really disgusting rotation, by the way. Um, but for this video, we are keeping Gohan alongside 17. But, you know, long story short, this category, it's, it's missing a lot of opportunities. So it's weird. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below how you guys feel about this Gohan at the end of the video. Apparently, he also has a nasty Dokkan attack in here as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that and want to see what he can do. But all in all, like... If, if we get a new Gohan, who's at least a facsimile of how good this Gohan is offensively, this is a really good barometer for what we could expect from that Gohan, right? Now, the other Gohan has a couple... This Gohan here has, like, a couple of different things that he does. You know, the Janemba-like passive that allows him to block hits and also the defensive support. So, whatever rotation sees him and 17 together, by the way, is disgusting because that's a whole lot of defense supports. <laughs> um, you know, the 50 and 60% and all that. But uh, Gohan also does have the Shocking Speed link, which the main leader has, and 17 has key support and Shocking Speed. So, like, Gohan's can actually fit on this team well, so it would work pretty well. Here we're going to see how much he actually takes, by the way. He's not going to take much. Oh, he's even blocking the hit. The arrow's pointing down. He's using his Janemba passive, so he wouldn't have taken anything. He's not going to take anything from this hit. He's going to take probably, like, 10 digits. Not 10. Oof! Five digits. <laughs> there we go. Five digits. <laughs> I meant to say 10K. But it transitioned into 10 digits because the gameplay is going kind of fast. I sped it up just a little bit. Um, but nonetheless, Gohan's attack stats, almost 2 million here. This is actually getting really disgustingly high. He raises his super attack per super, as you guys know. But getting up towards 2 million, while 17, for example, is barely at 1.6, things of that nature, it's pretty nice. That's really good. Now, there wasn't really a great example of a unit to run alongside Gohan. A lot of times, you guys know, for my showcases, I try to trigger as many links as possible, put these units in the best possible scenario. So for this video, I just kind of had Hydros uh, keep them alongside 17 because they shared some links together. It wasn't that big of a deal. But here we have UI, who I think was at 1.3 million attack stat or something like that. Like, I, I can't rewind the footage, but it, was, it wasn't that high. You know, of course, he did more damage because type advantage, etc. But Gohan was already by that point blowing him out of the water. But again, Gohan's probably had more opportunities to super attack and things of that nature. So you can kind of see where this Gohan would reside as far as, like, the power levels of this team goes. Like, he would be one of the harder-hitting units on this team, especially after, you know, a few turns of getting opportunities to attack. So here we have uh, the <laughs> incredibly powerful LR. <laughs> and we have uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta not getting a super, but it probably doesn't even matter. Tien is the only one that's not in this category, but if you do not know, Tien is a must-have on this team because of how many things he does for this LR. He initiates attack debuff, which gives them 77% from their passive because even though they themselves debuff the opponent, if you didn't know, 
that debuff doesn't really count towards them getting the attack boost. If the opponent would have had to have already been debuffed, which TN can do attacking before them, etc., etc. So, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. So, this this rotation doesn't matter if this LR was in the first spot because the opponent's already attacked. Well, actually, he won't be, but he will be when 17 does it here. Um, so if it gets to if it gets to the end of this, like that LR is gonna hit really hard. By the way, but yeah, um, he also TN has a 40% support passive. He also has several links with them, like several attack links, and then several, over in a flash as well for extra key, the three key passive too. Like he's TN is too good. He is the best. Hear me, the best unit you could run with this LR at all. Like there's no other unit that's better than him to be alongside this LR. Nobody. 17. Nobody. Nobody at all. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that was very clear. And, you know, the biggest definition of that was when I did my rainbow showcase of the LR. And uh, we saw Gohan there. I didn't really comment on it because type disadvantage. But when I did my rainbow showcase for this LR, um, I had two of them. I had one alongside Android 17 and one alongside uh, TN. And the one that was alongside TN consistently got an attack set of, like, 8 million plus. And the one that was alongside Android 17 was about you know, 5.5 .5 million. This is, I'm talking about like max key or pretty close, like the one here just got. So like, it's a really nasty disparity. Assuming that the opponent can be debuffed anyway. So like right here, we'll kind of see it a little bit, I think. But anyways, back to Gohan. Is Gohan's video. But yeah, as far as it's concerned, I, I do think it's criminal that we don't have a Gohan that's good in this category right now. If I recall correctly, uh, look at TN out here with the dodges. See, look at that, 8.5 million attack almost. Like, that's, this guy is disgusting alongside them. This is going to hit really hard. If, if it crits, my goodness. Please, chill. <laughs> Six. Six. Oh, wow. That, that was pretty evil damage there. Um, but, yeah, Gohan being the leader and all that, it, it's weird, man. We should have it. So, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. So, 17 will get the attack off. And then Gohan will get the opportunity here to do his attack as well. Now, this Gohan, like I said, we already kind of, this is a really good defensive rotation, by the way. We already kind of know what this Gohan wants to do. He wants to get his several attacks off, get his attack up, and just keep going, you know, via additional attacks or things of that nature. He's one of those slow climber units. A lot of the Gohans, in fact, have that type of ability, especially the older Gohans. But nonetheless, he should do pretty well here. Hopefully, we get another opportunity to see him in a position where he would have to take a hit or something like that because we haven't really had to see that a whole lot. So 17 here. Uh, double digits on that final hit. Gohan's attacks, that's at 1.8 now. Almost 1.9 million. So yeah, if this unit can stay, and again, this leader skill, right? This leader skill is so disgustingly high. 177 is such a disgustingly high boost that you kind of can see that there. Vegeta should finish this, actually. He should really finish this. Yeah, he finished it. Okay. He's barely at 1.6 million attack right there, too. Like, Gohan gets... And again, I'm not saying Gohan's better than UI or Vegeta because I had a couple of, ex of the same examples between the two fights. But you can see how, how the way that the unit works alongside the leader skill boost, like he gets very powerful. So this, of course, will be the conclusion. And Gohan will have type advantage throughout the entirety of this fight. So, oh, hey, here we are again. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what happens. I mean, this rotation just destroys. But either way... <laughs> Um, it looks like he's kind of trying to avoid the supers, maybe postpone it a little bit like I do sometimes. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so 5 million attack. Wow. At, at barely that much key. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, there we go. All right, goodbye. Hello. I guess we know who's the better duo card. Oh, man, somebody took that way seriously. Anyways, all right, so here we have Gohan. His attack is pretty high. It's at 196,000 free key, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to see him with type advantage blocking, it seems like, right here. Okay. And we have that. We also get the Dokkan attack here. So Gohan's finally going to get the opportunity to show what he can do offensively. Now, he hasn't had any attack boosts, by the way. He has not launched any supers to raise his attack yet, so this is going to be pretty much natural attack from Gohan. He has no access to, uh, I don't even think any attack links here. He could other than Fierce Battle. I don't, I don't really think he does, but uh, there's no attack supports nonetheless. 17 is a defensive support, so this is all natural Gohan damage here pretty much. All right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Six million crit. <laughs> We legit need to go on in this category right now. 
We need to go on in here right now. Bandai, please. It's one thing to not have a Krillin, but it's a whole other thing to not have a Gohan in this category. <laughs> Deanne with the dodging, man. It's a whole other thing. This Gohan is hitting. He hit six million on a crit. And again, that was all pretty much raw numbers there. Wow, okay. I was going to pull up the Dokkan Battle Builder and uh, try to put this together and see. I'm going to do it really quick while we're here. Just what links are generally triggered for this Gohan anyway. But I don't really think that he has a lot of opportunity with the way that this team is set up in this video anyway. So, representatives of Universe 7, we have you, we have you. He could have got a little bit more, I think, Gohan um, in different scenarios. But I tried to bring, you know, the best possible units for the most part. Uh, I'm not really looking at the game right now, but I do see Gohan is back. Oh, he put a, <laughs> he has a, he has his own boss in there. A Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. <laughs> That's dope. That's really cool. Um, all right, so let's see what happens there. All right, Gohan will be the first unit. I wonder if the uh, avatar is blue or not. Oh, it's not. Okay. It's just the icon. Okay. Yeah, this guy's out here changing the whole game up. All right, Gohan. I didn't see your attack stat, but I want to see fat damage. Two million. Okay. All right, Gohan. I see it. I see it, boy. I see it, my boy. So, yeah, Gohan is pretty good. <laughs> um, so, as far as this is concerned, we, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. But as far as Gohan and his links and stuff, I pretty much have it all pulled up. So, for him, the most he gets is Fierce Battle and Shocking Speed pretty much in this video. So... That's pretty much how things wrap up for him. But all in all, these guys will finish the job. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Hydros is down below in the description if you want to check out his YouTube channel. Apparently, he can make a lot of custom changes to the game. So that's pretty cool as well. Have an awesome day, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll catch all of you in the next one. Take it easy, guys. And peace out, guys.